Hey everyone, welcome back to my vlog. Today it's really overcast and glum outside. Um, it looks like it's gonna rain at any moment, but hopefully it doesn't. And if it doesn't, and maybe if a little bit of sky comes out, I'll practice shooting with the Steadicam smoothie that I mentioned in my last video. I'm also really excited. You may have noticed some edit changes. You may have noticed the entrance scene and there's gonna be an ending scene too. So I'm getting titles in and I'm actually using an app called Pocket Video that's free to download on iPhones. Um, and I'm not sponsored or anything. I just happened to find it when I was looking for ways to edit my video better and use my phone to edit. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to it. It has a lot of really cool features that you may notice throughout this video. So we'll see. And today's vlog is about my goals and what I really want to achieve um, with this series. I'm really hoping to get a lot of practice in while I'm in Richmond so that by the time I get to Germany, I can shoot some really fun things and uh, get a feel for how it's gonna go. Please, you know, if you have any tips, like I said, always leave them down in the comments section below. So just because this is a vlog and it's not only about the five goals, something that I did yesterday is I followed a Pinterest tutorial and cut my own hair. And uh, this is what it looks like. To be really honest, there is no <laughs> noticeable difference. But uh, I followed this Pinterest tutorial right here and a link is in the description below. You uh, put your hair in a ponytail and then you chop it off. And if you are, um, Friends with me on Snapchat, you'll have seen my progression story. It was very anticlimactic, but I figured I would involve you guys. That's what I did yesterday. Um, and today I have to go and deliver a package to the UPS box. So you're gonna come along with me and then we will start the five goals for this vlog. Here's the package and let's go deliver it. Without further ado, let's go through the goals. Number one, get comfortable with the camera. So I've done acting in the past and I used to be in a theater group when I was really young. So I do have some acting experience, um, but talking in front of a camera is a whole different feeling than uh, performing on a stage. And it's been years since I've done it. So I'm really hoping to get more comfortable with the camera, be more accepting, do more single takes. Um, and that really applies for when I'm outside. I really have the plans to vlog in other locations, not just my bedroom and um, my uh, hostel room or wherever I'm staying in Europe. I hope to be able to go out there and vlog and look like a crazy person holding my steady cam smoothie, talking to it and having people walk by. Number two, figure out that lighting with glasses. So uh, I have glasses um, and unfortunately, if I do a key light, uh, which is like a light right in front of me, um, all you see is a glare, which you may have noticed in my first two videos. So I have been searching around, trying to figure out how to fix that. Um, and it's a little better in this video, but I think it could still use some work. Um, and hopefully that issue won't occur when I'm outside, but oh, see, there it is. Uh, glasses are a whole other animal and all of the research I've done basically says don't wear glasses when you record uh, but I'm blind so I'm gonna need to so figuring that out too goal number three make sure to get that audio and video quality up there on YouTube uh, so I'm shooting in 1080p it's the standard for the iPhone 6s um, and I have this microphone so it's helping make sure that the audio is really uh, located at one point but I did notice some differences between how the video end product looks on my camera and on my phone versus when it's actually uploaded onto YouTube um, so I'm still working out what's the best way to make sure it stays 1080p or that the quality stays up, uh, how to make sure that the audio doesn't you know, um, make any background noises or white noises. Uh, so that's a big goal for me. You may have noticed a lot of my goals really have to do with the editing process. And I think that's because I'm really new to it. Uh, I'm sort of winging this um, and so hopefully editing it will do better and I'll be able to speak good and do videos good too. I don't know, Zoolander reference. Numero quattro. 
keep it interesting. That's a big thing with vlogs. I really appreciate all the ones that I follow on YouTube because they're always really interesting and the content is really fun. So hopefully I can do that more so in Richmond than in Germany because I think Europe is just interesting all around. They want to keep the content interesting. If you guys ever want to see me do anything, please let me know. And lastly, number five. My last goal is to make sure that it feels like you guys, my friends and family, and my viewers are really there with me. I really chose this medium for uh, my travels and for the program in Richmond because I thought it was the coolest way to see what I see and I really hope to do that the best I can um, by, you know, showing you what's outside of my door um, and also kind of keeping you involved. Uh, it's my version of a journal so I'm gonna try to keep it up as often as I can and I really want to make sure that you know what I'm seeing and you know you're involved with my day-to-days just the same. Thanks so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed my five goals for this series and uh, I hope to see you in the next vlog. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and then my question for you guys to post in the comments is what do you guys do when the weather outside is glum? I mean, I write lists, but I bet there's more fun things that I could do. So leave them down below. See you in the next one. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Sarah, AKA Blumbo. And today I just have a really 